How's it going, YouTube? This is Turner JI, and today we are starting a new series. We're going to call this one Merch Madness for obvious reasons. As you can see in front of you, you have all kinds of merch. Um, this is going to be a fun one for me. I really like this kind of stuff. Um, I've liked it for a while. I just haven't bought a lot of it in the last couple of years. I think I have... I think this, some of the most of this stuff came from a box that said the, the invoice said 2019. So some of this is older from a while ago. Some of this is from recently that I picked up, which kind of inspired me to do this. Um, disclaimer, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff. Uh, this is not my wheelhouse by any means. There are plenty of people out there that have way better information than what I do on this kind of stuff. So I'm going to give you the basis of this. But if you are an expert on any of these items and you know exactly what it is, uh, comment, let me know, talk about it, you know, give me the information. I'm always down to learn. And um, yeah, there's plenty of other sources out there, people that, again, are just way more knowledgeable than me on this kind of thing. So yeah, with that being said, let me clean this up just slightly so we can kind of get some sort of organization to go through this. And then we will jump into this insanity and see what happens. Um, I know some people aren't going to like this kind of thing. Uh, I mean, it just is what it is. I think some people are really going to like this kind of thing. And I think a lot of people are going to be surprised at um, just kind of all the stuff that Pokemon had has to offer and has offered over the years. There's just so many different things. Like, there's so many other different, like, random items. Like, spoiler, in the one of the, one of the orders I just placed, I think I got, like, a Mew table clock and then some, like, Eevee... Lucian's wall clocks yeah that's like not a joke um legitimately and they are from the pokemon center they are like they are licensed uh pokemon merchandise that's one thing about all this stuff all this is licensed this is just how things are in japan there's just so many different things um i mean again there's just all kinds of stuff here we got books magazines um phone cards train cards figures I mean, it's just so much. So let's pick something good to start. Let's just pick with, I'll just have this right here. We might as well. Let's zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm going to start off by saying I have no idea what this is. Um, best case is I do know it says Pokemon for Coma Gag Theater. They do these books and there's a lot of these older ones. And by the way, this does, I, if anything, I do know I'm almost positive. This is Jimeno artwork. I mean, you can you can take a look at the style. I, I don't think there's too much questioning that. If it's not Jimeno, it's somebody that mirrors Jimeno very well. But um, again, this is like a, a gag book where they kind of like over animate the Pokemon. And this is like a, a manga type thing where they, they have a story. But I mean, look, look, look at this Hitmonlee. Psyduck's in his corner. He's in a big fight. Um... I wonder, like, if they have all the Pokemon. You see them on the bottom there? Yeah. Again, this is this is cool for me because I have no idea with some of this stuff. I have absolutely no clue. Um, I just know, for me, it's like being a little kid. This is, like, picture book-esque for me. I like going through this just to look at the, the art because it's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at this. Like, that's... I mean, this is literally probably... I'm sure it has to have a date on it somewhere. 99 copyright 1999 like and this stuff's readily available still and it's it's really not that expensive you can find this stuff on macari all that kind of stuff don't ask me what the exact search terms are usually what i end up doing this kind of stuff is just looking for vintage stuff or whatever and if i if i think it looks cool like i buy it like that's usually how it works but you see these other gag um volumes this is volume oh this is volume one but, I mean, even just for, oh my gosh, like, look at that, dude. Like, that's so, like, it's beautiful. Like, if you want artwork, if you want to see this old school style, um, this stuff, it just it just has everything. Like, everything was done. I mean, even now still, they do do a lot of stuff like this. I mean, look how Charizard's drawn there. It looks fantastic. Venusaur, Blastoise. I mean, it's just, ah, it's so good. I don't know what they do. Oh my gosh, dude. Imagine if that was like a card or like a trainer card or something. I mean, look at your boy Snorlax. Like, I could literally probably spend a whole video just going over like one, uh, one book. Like, seriously. Like, this is just like, it's just, it's just too cool. We're already four and a half minutes in and I'm literally only talking about this one first item yet. 
All right, well, that's a little creepy. Okay, I'm getting a little pervy there, a little pervy. Doug Trio is getting a little weird, and then he's getting beat for it. <laughs> but, man, this is just so cool. But that's why the whole thing, like, there's Ash getting, like, breathed on by a bunch of Weezings and Mucks and Gangars. It's supposed to be, like, a like a gag. I don't know if it's a joke book. I don't think that's what it is. I just think it's, like, a, an anime style, like, humor for Pokemon. But, oh, my gosh, man. It's just so good. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Even this. Like, even just seeing, like, Snorlax. Like, there's a Voltorb he's eating. Like, so that's part of the whole joke there. It's just... So, again, this is, like, a gag book. Um, again, I don't know much more beyond that other than the fact that, based on what I'm seeing here, looks like, uh... Looks like Himeno artwork for sure. But Tenemushi Comics special. Yeah. All right. Moving on from that. That's super cool. <sighs> Let's do something other than a book. We'll do something modern now. So, like, this actually came from somebody um, that purchased a lot of stuff for me. They were gracious enough to send me a Christmas gift for um, some stuff for my kid and a couple of other trinkets, this being one of them. This is kind of, like, a common thing. This is actually Chinese, though, so this is a little bit different. Um, this is, like, a rubber keychain thing there's like thousands and thousands and thousands of these that have been different ones that have been made over the years but like this is a common thing that occurs a lot of this stuff i'm not saying particularly this one i don't think this would be one but a lot of these little trinket items are like lottery items so you would have the the pokemon center i guess does giveaways or whatever and they're like lottery prizes that's just that's my best guess just because every time i look at this kind of stuff it a lot of times it'll say like it'll there there's definitely some you can buy in store but there's a lot of them that say like h lottery prize or f lottery prize and it, i don't know how exactly you enter or what do you have to do if it's just buying something from the pokemon center but they give away all these like little weird items like all kinds of stuff like we'll 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 get into that as we get into other videos where you'll see cool stuff like that too um but yeah, it just it's it's crazy the amount of stuff that's out there. That I mean, this is just cool. I mean, this is I mean, what is this is this mouse 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 Gatier, mouse family? I don't know. It's mouse family, but it's a Christmas style one. And for me personally, that's one thing you learn. My favorite kind of merch is theme stuff. So I love Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff, Easter stuff, anything like that. I like holiday theme stuff. All right, let's jump into here. All right, so this is what? This is copyright 1996. That's crazy, right? So these are like stamps, legitimate stamps, and it's themed after uh, the what I believe is the Elite Four. So we got Lance, uh, is it Koga, and then Bruno, and then I don't remember who the first one was. Was it that like? Was it like an old lady? I can't remember. It's been a while, but like it's just cool. Like they they literally do these beautiful theme stamps for stuff like this, and they still do this kind of stuff. I mean, you saw it with the stamp box, the Pikachu stamp box, and they've done it numerous times over the years as well. And there's a lot of older ones as well that have this. I actually kind of want to. Is there like two things in here? Like, see, I didn't even open this. We'll open it once, make sure. I don't think it is. No, no, there's something else in here for sure. Oh, uh, it's just a back and play because it is legitimately stamps. I mean, you can see the perforations here to pull them out. But it's actually just a thin piece of paper. And it actually looks really cool when you can, like, see through it. You can't really tell through the thing. But, see, it's like, look, like, I'm, I'm discovering things with you here because I legitimately, like I said, I would, I'm an absolute merch noob overall. Um, like I said, there's there's people that are have insane knowledge about this kind of stuff. The same as what I would maybe have with the cards. But for me, like I, yeah, this is not not my wheelhouse. But it's something I really like, and I want to get better as far as acquiring knowledge. Let me see if I can slip this back in here before I absolutely damage it. It's probably would have been best just to leave it in there. Had I known that it was just a black background, I would have. So let me put this to the side so it doesn't get damaged. Let's do it later. All right, next up, let's see. We got some pins here. This is a big thing, too. You'll often see this kind of thing. Pins. This is like a little pin pack from one of the movies from... thought I had seen it earlier. It's Pikachu's fifth movie. But I think this is like 2002, I want to say. Like 2002. Uh, yeah, right. I'm an idiot. Right in front of me. 2002. But you got the Latias and Latios pins. You got the Pichu brothers down there. You got Pikachu, Why not? 
Um, I, I really like these kind of things. It's maybe not this kind of thing is what I want to start collecting. I don't think I have any for this video. Yeah, I don't think I ha have any that I can show off for this video. There, I think I have some on display behind me, like, but I'd have to get on the chair to grab it. Um, but there's like old school, like vintage pins for like holidays. They still do them now too, but I'd like to collect all the Christmas pins. Um, like I, cause I think all of them have a year on them and I, I think that's like something I'd like to try to achieve and then have them in like a display, like a pinned, um, background or, or try to find like some sort of display file for something like that. But yeah, pins are cool. Um, definitely something that's different. And a lot of people aren't going to like some of this stuff because it's going to be like, why, do I, why would I want that? Like, why would I want that junk? And that's perfectly fine. Like, I completely understand that. Um, if you're only into the cards, you know, the majority of this channel is going to be cards. But I really like merch. I want to get back into buying this stuff. So I figured it would be something cool to start doing a video series on. So <laughs> next up, if you're familiar, this is card related. Um, with the Trainers Magazine promos from, like, around, what, like, probably 2000 to, like, 2002, I want to say, probably is a good, good guesstimate. Um, they would all come with these Trainers Mags. So this is Volume 2, and basically these, I don't remember, I think they would come in, like, a cellophane when they're brand new, and then it would have, um, have the card just kind of, like, tossed in there. But, I mean, you're going to see here, like, this is, this is literally Pokemon history. Like, this is, like... I mean, you're, you're seeing pictures from events. I mean, look at this, dude. Like, this is so cool. Could you imagine having, like, that backdrop? Like, if that's, like, found somewhere, like, with the booster packs. Like, oh, my gosh, dude. But, like, I mean, it's you got pictures of the trophies. You can see the trophies. You got this Chansey done beautifully. <sighs> There's just so much to offer with this stuff in the terms of artwork. Like, stuff you actually get to see. I mean, this is, this is going over... Like, it's trainer's mag, so it's updating everybody, like, giving everybody, like, oh, like, X person probably won the tournament, and, you know, this is how this went, and this is this person doing this, and I, I really wish I could read Japanese to give you the actual, all the information, but, um, unfortunately, that's one thing that you'll probably never see on this channel. I mean, look at that. Look at Aerodactyl, the way it's drawn there. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's just so cool. There's the Makuni. This is probably teaching you about some of the mechanics of some of the cards. I mean, look at the Gengar. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, it's just it's just really well done. It's got like that, it's got the 90s, early 2000s vibe where things feel more real, more hand-drawn. Everything just feels like it was it was coddled and cared for as today. Everything's just super refined and it just feels like not that it isn't good, it just feels, I don't know how to explain it. It's just rushed. Not, like, not rushed either. I don't even know. It's just too perfect, if that makes any sense. This isn't perfect, but it gives it this perfect style, in my opinion. Like, this, this beautiful, like, hand-drawn, like, it's like, oh, like, maybe the proportions on some of these guys, the way they're drawn, aren't perfect. But, oh my gosh, dude, look at this. This is just insane. Magikarp. I, and again, I have no idea what this is talking about, what this is saying, but that's that's Arita. That's a young Arita. No way. That's awesome, dude. Young Arita. That's so cool. At least I'm I'm pretty sure that's Arita. The last I've seen him, he was really he's a lot older now, obviously, but I, I can almost guarantee that that's Arita. I don't know who this is. <sighs> Look at the vile plume, dude. We're like 14 minutes in, and we got so much stuff to go through. Like, look at this. Even just like the way these like cards are drawn. This reminds me of the way that that uh, creatures deck Chansey is, like with the uh, kind of hand drawn esque vibe to it. Yeah, dude. This is just too good. Too good. Too good to be true, almost. But it is. But it's real. Here I am, just sitting here. I'm like supposed to be doing a video for entertainment for you guys, and. I'm actually, like, enjoying it more than what you are, <laughs> and I'm, like, looking at stuff like, eh, they can wait, I can look through the rest of this. This looks like some art that was almost drawn by somebody else, maybe it was, like, submitted or something. It's super pretty. There's, a, look, I mean, look at this, just the creature corner, like, okay. There's the Makuni, like, this whole crazy, like, little thing, like, oh my gosh. 
checklist of some sorts. And then they usually do this kind of stuff. Like, so here's some of the magazines in the back. Like, these are different. I don't know. Like, so this is a CD. I actually think I just bought one of these. These are picture books. I'm excited to get some of these because these have some, like, legitimately, they're, like, picture books. They have, like, awesome artwork in them. Um, I don't know what that is. But, I mean, look at this little binder. Look at this merch from back in the day. I don't know what that Pikachu, like, look at that, like, keychain ring thing. There's play mats, boosters. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so cool. Like, look at this. So look at that. That's actually cool too. So unless they took it away, what side is that's gonna bother me? What side's rarity on? Is it on the right or the left? It's on the right, so you won't be able to see it in this photo anyway. I think it's on the right. Man, yeah, just super cool. And that's just one magazine. There's there's like literally 18 volumes of this. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're like really this is going to be a long one, the way look it seems. So this is another one of those, like, gag-type things. This one's from Coro Coro. Um, they are, like, super prolific. You'll still see Coro Coro comic promos today. Some of my favorite promos. I absolutely love them. But this is kind of like a gag thing, too. There was actually, like, a phone card, and it's, like, a big submission-type thing. There's a volume one and a volume two of this. And I don't know how everything works. Again, I know there's people out there with much more expertise on this than I am because there's some diehard phone card collectors. But... Um, you would have to do something and submit it and you would win one of the phone cards, but they're probably some of the most expensive phone cards. I mean, we're, we're talking like a grand $2,000, but it has like this artwork kind of want to get this one just because it has the Venusaur on it, but, um, we'll see this thing, not too much to talk about with this too, just cause this is mostly story art. I mean, again, this is like a gag book type thing. I mean, you got these Clefairies and like a little spaceship. But, I mean, you could literally sit here all day and you could go and page through this stuff and, like, absolutely admire each one of these things. And I'm sure I will at some point. I'm sure I will probably do something like that. But, again, I mean, the, the amount of val value – or, yeah, value. Oh, that's an ugly word. Value you're getting out of, like, just buying some of this. And I'm sure this wasn't that expensive. This stuff, a lot of this stuff is super undervalued, especially for how old it is. I mean, look at this Charizard. He's got – he's got – uh, feathers all over him for some reason. I don't know what that's about, but that's something. But yeah, I don't. I don't know if there's anything in here. Some of these things will have like appendixes, is what they call them, where there's basically like some sort of extra or attachment, or a lot of times a, a card, like a promo card in them. And sometimes you will find them. This isn't one in particular, but um, again, I'm not familiar with this stuff, so you never know. I could be paging through something like this and then find like some sort of bookmark or i don't know something that they would have been given away for free all right so we did a bunch of books there let's jump into a game there we go all right so this stuff this stuff isn't cheap anymore it was cheap for a little while but this is an original nintendo game boy color pokemon pinball from japan like still still almost brand new like sealed like this is absolutely wild like, this stuff was so cheap up until recently when it had a little bit of a video game boom. When, um, uh, like, everybody was grading them and, like, some of the some of the stuff was selling for an insane price. But I loved Pokemon Pinball as a kid, so I picked this up to have a copy of it and just display. I really don't want to open this, but I'm going to for, for the video's sake. Come on. But, I mean, this is literally, like... I mean, how old is this? Like, probably, like, 20-something years. But, I mean, look at this beautiful, beautiful booklet. Has some sort of weird Meowth token still in there from when it was originally released. You got the Game Boy Colors. Like, advertising, like, they would have been, what, 1,500 yen for a, a link cable. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is so cool. But, like, even just seeing that, like, seeing the old Game Boy Colors, like, stacked up like that. What, they were 8,900 yen, so who knows what the conversion rate was then, but by today's standards, like, what, $55 or something around those, I mean, probably like 60 bucks. Oh, this is the Game Boy Pocket printer with the, the picture, the lens. Oh, my gosh, dude. But, like, this stuff's just in the box. Like, this is that stuff, like, when you're a kid, you would just throw. Like, look, I've never even seen that before. I have no idea what this is. Some kid took a picture, and then I guess that's what some of the what, what the file would do, what the software would do. It would uh, generate like outlines for you. But like, this is the type of stuff as a kid you would just throw out. And 
now like we sit back here and look at it and it's like oh my gosh this is so cool like this is super super cool stuff and then i guess we will oh i wonder if i opened this box from the wrong end i think i did we're gonna try to close it up nicely because again i do want to display this something i will be doing i will be selling some of this stuff if this is something you guys are really interested in i mean i'm going to do the videos regardless but if it's something you guys are really interested in and you want me to start getting more of this stuff in to put on the store, um, I will absolutely do that because it'll just, it'll, first of all, we have the battery here from, from, from wherever, however old this is. Like, come on, man. Like, this, that's insane. But I mean, this is a brand new cartridge. Like, this this literally was, was pretty much new. Like, this is new. Oh, I don't even want to open it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But man, dude, like seriously, like, like I, I think it's like an understatement how cool this is. All right, let me put this back in here before I damage it. <sighs> Getting all excited about this kind of stuff. This is just, it's so cool, dude. It's so cool. And I'm, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping, like, I don't even care if this video doesn't get a lot of views. I'm just hoping that the people that do watch it and like kind of watch through, actually really enjoy this kind of stuff and and appreciate it as much as i do because again this kind of stuff has is is extremely underrated has so much to offer i mean it, it's just so cool like look at this dude like i am holding a game boy color a brand new game boy color copy of pokemon pinball like seriously like how crazy is that like what is this 99 like come on man like that's so cool <sighs> all right we're getting too excited we're gonna jump back into books just because i feel like i have the most of that this is another one of those items that i have absolutely no clue what this is but the artwork on it and the the packaging and the way everything is like situated it, it was a must buy so it comes in this little this little um three part it's like a three part thing here but they're like notebook flip book style but you have charizard blastoise and venusaur which already this is like super sick and then on the back you have these fantastic so you have the game boy theme here but you have like squirtle with the game boy charmander with the game boy and then you have bulbasaur with the game boy like this is oh my gosh dude it's so cool and what they're in the same color as what the typing is that's also pretty sweet but these are like little flip books. I would assume this is like some sort of little comic thing, just like the other stuff, but yeah, these look cool too. This is this is pretty sweet. Makes me again wish I could read Japanese. I'd probably read through every single one of these things. Oh my gosh, look at the back of this then. Look at that art style. Look at me too. Gotta check the Charizard for that one then too. Oh, there's one in the front too. Little Game Boy, like it's like the start of the game. Come on, you. Come on, there we go. Oh, man, dude. Look at Venusaur. I guess we want to look at the front of this one, too. I'm sorry, with, like, the super animated look. But, yeah, I have no idea what these are. I, I know they come in a three-pack like this. This is how they're... That's how, like, they're originally packaged. I have no idea what they are. My best guess is they are some sort of little mini skit type animated thing, which... Oh, they have the Pokemon at the top, too. What? Okay, so that's why it says 111 through 151. So it's the Pokedex, too. It's the back of Chansey. So lucky? What is that? Why is it? Oh, because you can... I don't know. I don't know why it's like... It looks like you can, like... It's perforated. Like, you can pull it out. Oh, my gosh, dude. I know it might sound like I'm, like, being over enthusiastic or excited about this stuff. But you guys know how I am. I don't... I don't do the whole mouth butt open thumbnail like BS. Like I legitimately like I, I absolutely find this stuff amazing, fantastic. Like <sighs> all right. We're gonna put these back together and then we're gonna move on. <sighs> Alright, we'll jump into something a little different here. Uh, here we go. We'll go new and old. So this was another thing that came with the, uh, the mouse, the mouse, uh, how, mouse house, mouse family. That's going to bother me. I don't know the name of that Pokemon, 
But the uh, the Chinese thing from earlier, this is another Chinese toy. This is kind of funny. This is a toy at KFC. Thought that was kind of hilarious. But you got the little Snorlax figure, and he's on like rollers, and I think he flaps his arms. So this is like modern day, like type toy or figure. Uh, can we can we line him up? Will he, will he roll in the package or flail his arms? Little hold on. too but this is christmas theme like this is i'm assuming chinese exclusive i mean it's at kfc for god's sakes like it's insane but now we'll get something vintage this is this is literally copyrighted 95 i would assume these came out in 96 but these are the original like pocket monster or monster ball like tommy figures i have two of these here i'm gonna open this one actually for you guys since it's it's already ripping off but I mean, look at this, dude. Like, this is so cool. Like, these little early on figures. And I guess there's some sort of coin in there. I can see it in there. But this has the original, like, it has the Tommy sticker on. It shows you, like, all the other stuff you could have bought. I mean, man, these are just, this is super cool. But I'm going to put one. This, this one's probably going to go on display. And then this will just be, this will be for fun. I mean, yeah, this is how easy this opened up. This wasn't worth keeping sealed anyway. It looks like this plastic is kind of stained just from over time i've never actually seen one of these out of it like or like open pulled out so this is kind of cool for me to do i've seen these before like this isn't something like some mystery product for me oh no his tail it's broken no pikachu i guess it was too brittle well sorry friend is this like a pencil topper is that what this is it's kind of what it looks like doesn't it oh man well pikachu lost his tail but he's still alive he's still kicking but this is cool this is actually pretty sweet got this little counter with a pikachu coin like this is super cool maybe we grade that maybe we grade that be the first idiot to grade something like this what do you think i think so and see this is what sucks like i actually want to like i want to like keep this because like look at it I'm like becoming a hoarder with Pokemon. All right, let's piece this ball together. Does this just snap together or like my dog is doing weird things? What are you doing? Why are you being weird? I don't know if it snaps together. I don't want to break it. It's like if the tail was that brittle, this looks pretty brittle too. It's almost like, you could, like, like I'm missing something. It's not a very tight fit. I don't know, but it's the Master Ball, though, so that's even, I think that's super cool. So we'll stuff Pikachu back in his ball with his tail, with his coin, and he can live happily ever after in his Master Ball that he deserved to be caught in. I mean, look at that, dude. Oh, my gosh, that's so cool. Like, even just the colors on this, like, like 90s all day. All right, we'll put that to the side. I really don't want to throw this out, but it's like, why would I keep this? Like, what would be the purpose of keeping this? To be a hoarder, right? So we'll just throw it back in the box. We can't keep the plastic. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw the plastic out. Get out of here. I'm just going to throw it out. I want to keep that. All right, let's move on. Um, did we do a CD yet? We didn't do a CD yet. Perfect. So we got a little bit of everything in this one. So this, believe it or not, is a CD. You may have seen this Pikachu before. There's, uh, I think it's like a, a sealed ass or a card ass card that has like this kind of artwork. And I think it might be a Chansey or something. But I thought this was super cool. Like you have this like crayon artwork, um, super old school look of how they were drawn. This is trademarked or copyrighted. I don't know, but it's got Pikachu records on it. You got the Snorlax, the Mew, Bellsprout, Ditto, Tangela, Poliwag, and then Oddish kind of creeping in the background. But this is a CD, and this would have taught you how to draw the Pokemon. Okay, so that's cool already. This is from the 90s, too. Like, so this says 97, so that's actually probably right. Yeah, 97. Is there anything behind this? Oh yeah, you got okay. You got even more cool stuff there. <sighs> and then even the CD itself is cool. And then on top of that, it comes with this little booklet where you have 
a little instruction on how to draw the different Pokemon as well. And this beautiful like art style for this. I don't know if this was Jimeno as well. I wouldn't be surprised. We have Doug Trio. I mean, it shows you how to draw a Doug Trio. Maybe I'll learn how to draw some of these so I can uh, so I can do that in the future. A little more complex here. Pikachu from the back. You got Snorlax. Butterfree. Ditto. Oop, did I skip a page there? No, I guess I didn't. Ghastly. A lot of process to Ghastly there with the shading and whatnot. Um, ditto in different shapes and a star and a one in a shrimp fried shrimp sure um we got Boltorb with the crayon sticking out of his head because i guess he's not going to carry it around right a pretty pretty simple steps to draw Boltorb. got oddish bell sprout that's pretty cool teaching how to draw bell sprout and then i don't know if this part is, is this the end of it or i uh, just roll credits type thing Chansey, Tangela, Snorlax, Ghastly's got the crayon in his mouth, of course. But yeah, this, this I'm pretty sure, like I said, this CD would have actually taught you how to how to do it. I don't know if it says it on there since there is some English, but yeah. I mean, dude, like, this is just a little, little book with a CD in it. Like, do you need it? No. Do you want it? Yeah, you do. All right, next up... All right, this is all right. So this is pretty big. This is, I think, an A five A five file, and this is like a pretty popular thing. There, I think they give these out for like school kids, but there's tons of them, and there's some fantastic artwork on these things. So the typical ones you get are A fours. So that just, I think that just specifies the type, the size of paper. Again, I think this is an A five based on how the size of it is. The A fives are a little. They, they don't make quite as many of those, but they always have this crazy artwork, like this fantastic artwork on it. Like, I think some people actually start grading these on occasion. This is from 2010 from Pokemon Center Osaka. You can see with the Tepig. But this one, not actually too crazy. I mean, the front's pretty crazy. Like, this is pretty cool. Amalga, Aldino, um, Pika with the bow tie, Meow, Tepig. Yeah, I mean, this one's pretty cool. There's a lot going on in this one, but there's some really, really good ones. And not necessarily that, like, there's all this stuff going on. There's some just simple ones, too. But there's a lot to offer in these. I I think I ordered some more of these, like, different ones. And I, this will be something that I end up ordering, like, probably a bunch because I want to start collecting these. All right. Let's do... Let's do some postcards. Let's do some postcards. All right, so this is like a pack of postcards here. This is fairly new, I think, or new-ish, or maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these are old. It does have the old Pocket Monsters thing on it, so maybe it is older. But this is something they do quite often there. Um, one thing, postcards, especially the older postcards, like, they're fantastic. And they used to do these, like, little packs of them. Um, more modern stuff, not quite as good, but still good. But um, I'm going to say this actually is pretty old. But yeah, so postcards. Postcards are awesome. Postcards are something that I'm going to get into collecting. I've recently started acquiring some of that stuff. But they do these little cool pamphlets where you already obviously have like the cool little pictures on there. And then just like on the front, now you have your Mew postcard. And then they would be, I think the postage is already paid for this. You just simply put in the address and you'd write whatever memo you wanted. But then you have Charmander. These are a little bland, but still cool for what they are. Bulbasaur, the Squirtle with the Magikarp, and then Pika on the swing. I guess you'd probably pick your favorite friend to send the Pika, right? <laughs> but that's like a mini introduction to postcards. I promise you there's so much more to offer with those. Um, it's just gonna, I think I have some more here. Yeah, I do actually. I have some more here. I have some very vintage, very expensive ones here, um, that I'll, that I'll show off in a sec. Those are, that's actually a recent acquire. But, hold on. Yeah, we're at 35 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if this isn't your jam and if you're still here, thanks for watching. But this is a, this is a series I've wanted to do for a while and I just, I love this stuff. So, 
probably why I'm end up taking so much time on this. Here you go. We have a ANA Airlines, which is something most people have seen before. ANA Airlines boarding pass, like ticket thing, where it would is literally like like a gold boarding pass type thing they gave you. ANA is like super. Um, they they've been working with Pokemon forever, so and this might be somebody's address. I really don't know. I don't know if this got mailed to somebody or what. Oh, this is. Is there anything in this? That would be pretty sick, but I doubt it. I think it's just to put the boarding pass in. But it is interesting that this is like this. We got the flying Pikachu on there. But ANA has worked with Pokemon for a long time. They literally have planes. Like, this isn't just a, a drawing. Like, they literally have planes that are covered in Pokemon stuff. But these are the tickets you could have gotten. I actually never saw the back of this before. Um, you get the Pika, Mew, and the Mewtwo, and it has these nice little illustrations. And then your gold boarding pass. So I didn't, I thought this was a Pika, but this is the Mewtwo. And this is, is this plastic or is it metal? This is plastic, but still. Ah, it's so cool, dude. Like, and these would have been given out for a limited time, like when you had a flight. And I don't know if this is actual information for their destination. Like, so we have like a legitimate, like different number, like, I don't, this legitimately could be a, a boarding pass that you got to keep. Like, that's, oh my gosh, it's just so cool, dude. Uh, all right, we need to calm down. We're getting too out of control here. Let's put Mewtwo back. And then we will move on from this. I'm going to have a lot of putting away to do later. As I try to put something away in front of you. All right, next up. So here's something that they do a lot of times too. This is kind of like one of those like giveaway things from the Pokemon Center. Um, I think that's why it says not for sale, but these like clear files. So if you see in the back, like obviously it's like a, it's almost like an old, I guess if you're a nineties kid, like from, um, like you would have put it on your projector, like at school, like people would have put it in the projector to um, like, teach a class I, 90s people will understand what i'm talking about other people eh, maybe not so much you guys are too fancy but uh, we got evie or yeah evie we got espion and umbreon here and i mean i think it has like a better look if like it's actually lighted but i can't really do that with the way the camera's angled but these are pretty cool this is something just kind of small um just kind of like a trinket type thing but cool nonetheless all right Let's get into hmm. Hmm. Let's do I don't know what I want to do. We'll do another book here. We got this manga here. So this would have been like one of the originals. This is like 99, I think it's copyrighted, but this art style. So like, this is actually, they did a uh, phone card with this artwork on it. And um, it's one of the reasons that I started taking interest in phone cards when I originally saw that. There's another phone card that I do have here to show off that has um, the original artwork, another original artwork from this artist. The artist is Mado. That's what they call them. I don't think that's their full name, but Mado is uh, what they go by. But this one, I think, would have been illustrated all by Mado. Which, when you think about, like, all the drawing in this, it's kind of actually crazy to think about that. But, again, this is kind of like the stuff earlier. Like, this is just anime. I don't know what all this stuff is exactly. But, like, this is part of the series. This is number five on the special got Voltorb or excuse me Electrode there with a pencil and an Oddish with glasses but yeah um I have a bunch of these too like from all different things I'll probably show those off eventually but this stuff I mean we went through this a little bit earlier I mean but you could you could literally page through this all day you could page through this look at all this artwork let me see a good one of Gyarados yeah look at that it's Lance you know just hanging out with his dragon Pokemon no big deal it's just so cool. All right, moving on from that. So since we said phone cards, 
Phone cards have a ton to offer. There are phone cards from forever ago, and they're like this one. So this is like a super early one from like, what, 96? And these are super fragile, and they legitimately are. Like, they're phone cards. They would have been something you bought to prepay for, um, like, pay phones. But I don't know. Each of them has a different name. Like, this is like a whole, like, Clefairy series. And it has a cool way of the way it was drawn with, like, the Pikachu and all the... Just the way it's drawn is its own unique style. It's very bubbly. Um, this is the one I was talking about earlier. This is by Mado. So this is by the same artist that did that manga. Um, I don't know how a lot of these were acquired. Don't ask me that. There is possibly an article online somewhere. I think it's on E4, Elite Forum, that gives a list of all this stuff and how they were how they were acquired. But um, this one, probably one of my favorite. Ooh, I'll get tired. Excuse me. Um, I do want to grade some of these at some point and um keep them where i may just do a binder i really don't know but uh, they just have too much good exclusive artwork to uh to pass up on but we got the pokemon center osaka one here like this probably would have been something you would have had to go to the pokemon center to buy like that was the only place to get it like this this version but the, and it's crazy this stuff still exists just floats around out there I mean, and it's, it's not like it's super rare, a lot of it. Like, this is a little bit of a rarer one, and this one is, uh, I wouldn't say rare, but more expensive. This probably, like, runs, like, 50 to to $100. But, yeah, I mean, just so much to offer with, with just something as simple as phone cards. All right, next up, uh, we talked about the trinkets earlier, how they would give out random small stuff. So this is the perfect example. This would have been like some little lottery prize from the Pokemon Center. And it's just this like mini dish thing. I think it was part of something going on back then where they like had like mini. It was like mini, a bunch of mini kind of stuff. I, I Like literally like almost like tea set style stuff. I, I don't really know. But um, yeah, you got like Pikachu Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Togepi, Snubble on here. And it's just a mini dish, a mini little dish. And it's just like a trinket. Like that's that's a lot of the kind of stuff they give out um, as like lottery prizes from the Pokemon Center. All right, let's do... I want to save this vintage, vintage postcard stuff for last. We'll do a quick page through these. I think I'm going to line this up the way I want to go through it. I think I got this now. Yeah. All right. So we have more trainers mags here. We're not going to go too crazy in depth going through these, but we will quick do a flip through. This is number 15. If you guys are familiar with the slow poke, it's actually cool because they expand on the artwork and you see the diglet here in the background. This was March, March slash April, 2002. But this is where you would have started to have E-Series. Here's PCL. Like if anyone's familiar with Pokemon Card Laboratory, here's your, here's your Pokemon Card Scientist. This would have probably been in like the PCL corner or something like that. Which actually PCL was 04. So this is actually way before that. Have a map. This looks like the E-Series map. I mean that. I don't know if I've ever seen that artwork with Suicune and Zapdos. <clears throat> You got all your beginnings of the E-Series here, probably teaching you how to do certain things. Um, these are like little mini games, because like E-Series, the whole thing was the E-Reader strip. You would scan it in, and then you'd be able to see, like have like mini games, all that kind of stuff. Looks like a little segment with Makuni. I don't know who that is. I don't think that's Himeno. I don't know who that is. But this is like some, I mean, look, there's like hand-drawn stuff from way back. Lugia looking all weird. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I wonder if that's, I don't think that's Himeno. But I could be wrong. What the heck is that? Is that like a creepy, like, sunkern? Okay, well, that's a little weird. That's something. Hand-drawn stuff over here by, like, some kids, it looks like. Or it could just be Imakuni, because Imakuni's weird. It's going to bother me. I don't know who that is. Hmm. Huh. But yeah, I mean, you guys see, like, I don't even think I need to ex express the way I feel about this stuff anymore, just because it's just so obvious, like, 
This is so cool. And again, like, for anybody that's interested in this kind of stuff, there's really no right way, rhyme, or reason to find this stuff. Like, legitimately, like, a lot of it's not rare. It's just finding it and buying it. Like, like I said, most of this stuff, when I buy it, I buy it at random. Like, don't get me wrong. I know what these are. Like, I know these are trainer's mags. You can search trainer's mags for sale, and you can find, like, this kind of stuff. Like, that's it's not hard to do that but like it's the other stuff like the super niche stuff like and even this like it's hard to find like a search term to i guess you can figure out magazine but then you're gonna get all kinds of stuff it's just it's it's a learning thing for sure we got all these kids well, this kid has like the he has the charizard trainers mag in his hand that's cool these kids open it up pokemon cards it looks like it's school like this kid's got the dark charizard and what does he got We'll zoom in on him. We'll take a look. What's he got? What's he packing? He's got Dark Charizard, Dark Gengar, Electabuzz from Base, Magneton from Neo. His friend's got Dark for Alligator. He's also packing the Dark Charizard. Dark Tyranitar. He's my boy. He's got Venusaur. And I don't know what the other one is to the right, but... Again, some people might find this stuff absolutely worthless to them. They do not care one bit. But for me, I love going through this kind of stuff, looking at it, and, like, just seeing... Like, this is Pokemon. Like, this is Pokemon history, legitimately. Like, we're at the point where this is old enough that this is literal Pokemon history. It's in this binder. Okay, that's cool. But, oh my gosh, I said I wouldn't go through all these, but here we are. Bending series ads. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Do you know what that is? A little case or something? Like both of these things? Oh my god, I want both of them. But these are like ads for this stuff. Like they like base what does that say? 480 yen. I'll pay 480 yen for that. Like, where is this stuff? Does it exist still? Like who has it? <sighs> I'm sure it's out there. It's gonna take time to the some of the stuff will only surfaces once every couple years some of this merch that you see in these these uh books and pamphlets and stuff looks like a rita too isn't it that's a woman i could be completely wrong there you can't can't see exactly but then you have the back so you have the slow kings so this is that the whole picture together bell sprout peeking out <sighs> i'm almost getting tired of talking um next up we have another one here volume eight I don't know why i think maybe the earlier ones were more of a paper and then they changed it over to the more like glossy style but this is number eight we got espion on the front and oddly enough just a random espion card in the back which is still kind of cool and then okay so here oh perfect oh my gosh this is so perfect so i don't know what this is i don't know if this is a mail away for something i don't know what it would be a mail away for but this, so this is your appendix, quote unquote, and it's open. There's no card in this one. I'm pretty sure, yeah. But even just this little sleeve that the card would have came in, like there's your PCL laboratory again. Oh my gosh, there's Lucky Stadium from the TMB. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Is this from TMB? Yeah, this is from the Tropical Mega Battle. Like this is from the event. Like too good too good guys got another lucky stadium you got more pictures from the event got the neo trophies down here man what i'd do for that banner more tropical mega battle stuff there's your shirt hat this like keepsake thing that would have been for sale some weird stuff down there. The other Lucky Stadiums. Coins. I don't think I've ever seen some of these coins before. But that's the thing. Like, this stuff exists. Like, this stuff is out there somewhere. Like, people have it. Like, and that's what's cool. Like, it's rarer than half the cards. <laughs> which is crazy to think about that. And is it as, is it as cool as the cards in some senses? Eh, no, but it, it just... It gives some sort of, like, mystique to the whole hobby yet, like, with all this other stuff being out there. Everything else is kind of surfaced, and then, you know. This looks like a list of all the winners from the TMB. 
Again, could be completely wrong. Looks like we got a little skit going on from, from the TMB. There's Ian McCooney. Uh, a little ad for the Jimeno. Um, how to draw Pokemon things. Like the, She did a whole skit of those. I'll have to get some of those if I don't have them already. This cool little pin set. I mean, again, this is 90s, dude. Like, this is this is out there. Like, this stuff's, like, literally out there somewhere yet. And yet, I've, like, never seen it before. I don't know what that's all about. It's a cell phone or somebody's phone connected to their Game Boy. I'd like to know what that is. That's cool. Or is that, like, something where you could, like, trade with yourself? Is that what that's... Who knows? The world will never know. Uh, we're at 50 minutes guys if you're still here thanks for watching um i mean my content's notorious for being super long like this i mean maybe some people enjoy it maybe some people don't but i mean i'm just not I, i'm just doing this i'm just there's no script no nothing no rhyme or reason for the way i do this stuff i just kind of i wing it and whatever it turns out to be it turns out to be so if you're enjoying it thanks appreciate it if you're not well you're probably gone already so see ya I don't know who these people are either. Like, I don't know if they're artists or not. It's a cool little animation. <laughs> you like barfing out like cards. Like, that's so cool. Little like card holder. Okay. But you could probably go through these and you could literally just like scan every inch and like find something cool on like every page. Is this? Oh man, like a bunch of Neo boxes and stuff, and like some fan club magazines, all kinds of packs, vintage stuff. Oh gosh, take me back, take me back. <sighs> Looks like they're vendors at the event. All right, cool. We have the fan club stuff there. I have that obviously if you watched my collection video that i have one collection video i've done you saw my oregon fan club all right we're almost done oh i have seen the shirt before actually i have 1000 percent seen the shirt before for sale it was super expensive and also i'm fat so it wasn't in my size but it would have been cool to own something like that I don't know what it is or what it's all about, but. <sighs> and then for whatever reason, they did do this stuff in color then in the back. Guess that was what the budget was at the time. This is, oh, this is English stuff. That's interesting. So that's cool. I mean, they showed off some English stuff and uh, Japanese stuff. There's your decks. Oh, man, this is cool. Like a bunch of release info and all this stuff. What? oh man all right i don't know what this is for i kind of want to google translate this to figure out what this was a mail-in tab for because that's what it would have had to been for i think is like something you mail in for or maybe it was to, maybe this was like a subscription and you paid for it i really don't know but would like to know what that's actually for all right moving on Whew. all right we got a cd again here this isn't like a case. So number one, this is cool. So I actually do remember what this is for because I looked it up. This is the Sounds of Pokemon. And it literally has the audio, the sprite-like sound for each Pokemon on it. So you have this six CD. So this is super cool on its own. I don't think there's... Oh, there actually is behind it. So that's cool. They, they actually have... Well, they did like the evolutions here behind it. They have Pikachu evolved and the others devolved apparently. But the CD itself, super cool, just in its own right. You got the booklet. Oh, that's cool. They have all of them then. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. It would have, Pichu wasn't around back here. This is probably from like 90-something. Pichu wasn't around yet. Otherwise, Pichu would be right there. And then we have a booklet here. Oh, my gosh, dude. Package art. Red, green, blue, and then yellow. We got the town map. <sighs> I'm having a field day with this. Got the evolutions. It's telling you what track is the sound of each one. 
Squirtle, Venusaur, yeah, Squirtle, Venusaur, Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise, you got your Legendary Birds, you got Mewtwo. I mean, even just this, like, this is just so beautifully done. Like, I just absolutely love going through this kind of thing. Ah, I think this is this is all the trade Pokemon. You had to trade in the game to get Stone Evolutions. Got your homeboy Gary, Professor Oak. Got Ash or Red. He's in the PC. He's Ride Misty's bike. Oh, I got the gym leaders. You got Rocket. You got Bug Catcher. And then Lass. Oh, man, dude. Look at Brock and Misty. You got Sabrina. Giovanni's just got like a dark silhouette. This is the last page of this. Yeah. Man, that was cool. I don't think I ever went through this when I got this. I didn't go through this thing. Otherwise, I've been pretty pumped about the character thing. But yeah. Like, and the thing is, again, you can, have, I have, I do know that this is Pokemon sounds. Like, you pop that in, like, your old ROM thing and, and boot it up and you're going to get a, which maybe, maybe we'll do that at some point, too. Um, I do have an attachment for my PC to use a disc, so maybe we'll try that. But it would be cool to actually see, like, what this stuff, what's on some of these discs and, like, listen to some of the music. So maybe we'll do that in the future. But, again, you really don't have to have any idea what this stuff is to enjoy it. But you can just have no clue, like, but you can still appreciate all of the goodness that it has to offer. All right. Man, this might be my first video over an hour for a while. I think the last video I did like this is... I don't even know. But this this makes me think we're going to have to split these merch videos up a little bit. Not that I don't... That, that I mind necessarily doing this. But I'm, I'm honestly... My voice is getting rough and I'm getting tired. <laughs> Alright, so this is a pamphlet. This isn't normal, I think, for these. But these are called, I believe, orange cards. And this would have been for, like, public transit. This one in particular comes with this whole display, but I don't think I've ever opened this up fully. Yeah, so like you have your public transit here, but it's done in such a cool way that you're like, oh, public transit. This is so awesome. <laughs> oh, man. You got Chansey on a plane, Chansey driving a truck, Chansey on a boat. He's on a boat. Chansey on someone's head on a scooter. Chansey jumping. It looks like we got some postcards in the back here. Again, I have no idea like how this stuff works. I just am guessing with some of it. Again, I do know that these are. I'm pretty sure these are orange cards. I think this is from like O two ish. But I mean, just look at this, even just getting this out of it. Like you get this sick Pikachu Dragonite flyer. Like, and then on top of it, this is just the flyer. So now we're getting into the actual pamphlet here. And when you open it up, it's like a little display piece for your, again, orange cards, which I believe is what they're called, or which these are called. So I don't really want to take these out, just because I, when I do, I want to get them out nicely and not bend them. But it has that artwork. And again, these are gradable. This is something you can grade with. For sure, BGS. I know PSA is starting to grade more of this stuff. But, um, I mean, look at this. You have the original Pocket Monsters, like, logo up top there. You got this little display. I don't think there's any in display. That would have been pretty cool. Would have been a nice surprise. <sighs> I'm almost overwhelmed from all this. Not gonna lie. But even the outside looks cool. Super displayable. Super eye-appealing. Like, just keeps getting better. All right, next up, we're gonna go to a video game. So... We have Gold and Silver Stadium here, or Stadium Gold and Silver, whatever you want to call it, Stadium 2. Um, this is another, like, sealed copy, or the way... There was never, I don't believe, any cellophane on these. That's not how they did that back then, but it is a brand new copy. Ah, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. We got the back artwork. But yeah, this is an N64 game. And we are going to open this if it'll allow, because I do, as crazy as it sounds, I have a full case of these. This is an individual copy I have, but a while back I was able to purchase a full case of brand new copies, which is pretty cool. I'll show that off at some point. But, oh my gosh, dude, this is so cool. I, I never took this out because I didn't want to before because I felt a certain way about it, but as I damage things. Um, but now that I had, you know, I have a bunch of copies. I'm willing to take this out and take a look, but we got your cartridge, got your, 
Got your N64 cartridge right here. And again, this stuff has gotten more expensive, a lot more expensive than it used to be, but it is still overall affordable compared, especially compared to what the um, what the U.S. versions, the English versions of this stuff are. I mean, you could probably find a used copy of this for 50, 60 bucks, maybe just the cart for 30, 40. <clears throat> so it's not like it's unobtainable. I'm just saying in general, it's more expensive than what it used to be. Even the plastic tray it comes in has N64 written on it. We're having fun. We're having fun here. Let's check out what they gave you in this one. There's your boy Toad. They're telling you something about plugging it in. Not great, or I don't know here. Cool, cool. We got this little pamphlet here. It's talking about typing matchups. That's pretty sweet. Um, I'm not sure what all this is about, but it's about something. Got your controller there. You got Pichu on the back. And then we have our beautiful manual. Which, again, when you were a kid, you would have been like, yeah, yeah, throw this out. I need to get into the game. And now I'm, like, looking here like an old person at the manual. It's cool. You got your older games. Red through yellow. And then gold and silver. And then also crystal. I think we'll go too in depth in this because I don't think this has. I mean, this is literally just your manual. I mean, not that it doesn't. It isn't cool, but um, I think for this thing, the coolest part is more so your front and then your cartridge and in the back. But yeah, uh, this stuff's just super cool to have. I'll, I'll probably put this on display as well. I think that's what I'm gonna do with both the games. At some point, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need if I ever become super wealthy. I'm going to uh i'm going to build like a specific like massive space just for pokemon stuff and just collect it and display all of it and enjoy it and then when it burns down cry <laughs> wouldn't that be awful i think about that a lot i know that's that's pessimistic but i mean when you have all this cardboard you know stuff does happen and you know you think about it so a lot of times i'm overly cautious about stuff especially with having a toddler in the house and animals candles are like my enemy i look at candles and i know you're not doing it stuff like that just weird old pure people stuff you start to see when when you start to be concerned about things you probably shouldn't be but yeah we got n64 stadium 2 gold silver all right moving on last little bit of stuff here we got this is a recent acquire from japan um, I bid on this stuff recently, got this, some postcards, and then this stuff is actually from one of my good friends, Visor. Um, he's Visor Pokemon on eBay, doesn't do any YouTube or anything like that. I am going to try to remember to link his eBay page here because he is more of a merch master than what I am. I, I mean, I'm not a merch master at all, but he is... A very very fluent with postcards very fluent with merch in general like this kind of stuff and um he owns a lot of it and he also sells a lot of it so you might be able to go over to his page and pick some of this stuff up i don't know how much like more so it would be like postcard-esque stuff but um if you like that kind of stuff again he would have it up for sale already i might start selling it some of this stuff here in a little bit but he would have a lot of it available already as well as cards too and he's also a really good ebay so I'll, uh, again, try to put his eBay in my description. It'll be one of my affiliate links. If you guys click on it, you buy anything, I will get a kickback for it. Just a disclaimer, it's at no extra cost to you. It's just something that I want to make sure everybody knows because I do use affiliate links. So, yeah, that being said, let's jump into this. He threw these in for free. I did not open them. They are, like, pop-up Christmas cards. Oh, my gosh. So, we got Pikachu, Pichu, and Togepi. Like, just the fact that this even exists. But then it comes with the envelope. It's got Braille on it, too. That's actually pretty sick. Oh, man, dude. It's just too cool. And then we got this one from Neo Era. Oh, my gosh, dude. It's got a spring on it? What? I think it came off because it had the time of how, how old it is. But this would have been glued to here. And I think, I think he would have, like, popped out as you opened it up. <laughs> That's so cool. A little, little sad that it's that it's broken, but um, he gave him for free, so I'm not gonna be mad about it. And I mean, there's nothing you can do about it anyway. But man, that's so cool. 
a spring. Like, seriously, dude? Like, who does that? Japan does that. That's who. This actually might be U.S. Now nah, this is Japan. What am I thinking? I, for a moment, I thought maybe it was, like, U.S. made. All right, so those are, like, greeting cards. Next, we have, like, this mini postcard that I did pick up from Japan recently. And it's just, what, this is from 2000 Christmas. And it would have been, like, a little circle postcard you mailed people. Like, I can't imagine wanting to mail this out. But, you know, hey, you know, people probably didn't look at this stuff like it was cool back then, like we do now. But this is super sweet. I, there's a bunch of these. There's a bunch of these little circle ones. I was bidding on them. This was dumb cheap. It was, like, probably, like, five bucks, ten bucks with shipping. Um, but I wanted to bid on more but i didn't realize they had them and they had already been sold off like I, there was an ivy sore sold for like 225 plus shipping i was crushed that i didn't get that one but yeah these are oh man they're so good absolutely fantastic this might this might be english i really don't know i but it's from japan so it probably can't be i don't know again this is why i'm not an expert on this stuff all right, moving on. This is from 99. This is a Christmas card. This one, these are fairly expensive. These are like $70, $80 postcards. So, I mean, you can get up there with what you spend on these for sure. Especially when you get the envelope with them like this. The front doesn't have anything, but the back has the Delibird here. So, you may have seen this art before. It, it, ha it is floating around. I think some people think it might be um, like fake or not fake, but like, like fan art type thing, but it is not. Um, this is by a certain artist. He did tell me, I can't remember for the life of me, but you got the silhouettes and gold of the sprites. Christmas present of Fusub Fusubi, Fusaboy or Fusabe City. I'm not sure exactly what that is. And then the back is in gold. Um, I love Christmas stuff. Like I said earlier, this, this stuff's awesome. Um, and it's something that I really want to get into collecting more of. Christmas mainly. I will do Halloween. We'll do Easter. We'll do other stuff like that, but mainly Christmas. But oh my gosh, that's so cool. Absolutely beautiful artwork. Got Diglett rolling the snowball. Pikachu warming up by Cyndaquil. That's cool after it's shoveling snow. Smoochum's hanging out in there. Delibird's doing his thing. Bell Sprout is unfortunately getting rolled in a snowball, being walked on by Pichu and pushed by Meowth. And then, for whatever reason, Farfetch'd and uh, Mankey are doing hard labor back here. So, not sure what happened there. That's cool. Must be Delibird's post office. There's a picture of him. But, <sighs> beautiful. But again, this is probably like 60, 70 bucks. And I know that sounds outrageous for a postcard, considering this was probably like 200, 300 yen originally. But this is from 2000. So. This one is from 2002. <sighs> Nothing on the back of this one, but we do have the front of this one. Um, this one is, I mean, you're going to start seeing new Pokemon here immediately. We got the Neo era. We got Tyrogue. They're having a big old snowball fight. Meowth. Chikorita, I mean, of course, Psyduck's getting pelted. That makes 100% sense. I get that. Pseudo Wodo, Pika going airborne, throwing one. Articuno is creating the snow. All the other guys are just sitting by watching. Snorlax has been sleeping and the snow is piling up. War Turtle's getting pelted too. I don't know what that's all about. Shouldn't be War Turtle. It should be another side. <laughs> Let's open this one up. Oh, I didn't open this one up yet. This is so good. Got Miss Magius, or excuse me, Mistrevis with the Christmas hat on. Um, Flaffy warming up with Charmander and Typhlosion. The Pikachu building the snowman, which they still use this little snowman emblem to this day. Merry Christmas, O2. The Articuno. Blastoise dancing in the snow. <sighs> and so I talked about earlier about wanting to collect pins. I believe there's an actual, there's a pin. This is actually a pin and that you can collect it. Um, I will have to try to acquire that at some point. I think I might have recently picked up some pins. I think like 04s. I think I picked up multiple. It's because what as weird as it sounds, whenever I see this stuff, if there's multiple, I just buy like multiple if I can. <laughs> I just, that's just the way I do it. And then, so I, if I like it, I can keep like the best, best kept one. 
But again, if you guys are really interested in this kind of stuff and you want me to start getting more, selling more of this stuff, please, by all means, tell me. If you're not interested in all and you hate this, by all means, tell me that too. I have no, I mean, you're not going to hurt my feelings. But um, I do plan on doing this series, this Merch Madness series, and I do uh, plan on, it's not going to be every week or anything, but it will be like kind of like a filler when I don't have like a submission coming back or, or anything like that. This one's from 2000 again. This is absolutely gorgeous as well. This has such an old school vibe. Like this literally takes me back to like my grandma's like on Christmas day. Like that's what this feels like to me. Like I don't, I, I can't explain to you that cause that's my personal feeling, but like it's, it's awesome to look at this and just, I don't know everything about it. Got Smoochum hanging out here, Della Bird. Jigglypuff and Apom in the tree. It's oh, they use Starmie as the star as the tree topper. <sighs> it's so cool. A little Clefairy in the ornament. Psyduck ornament. Psyduck's gotta be there. Uh Flareon is looks like carrying some stockings around or mittens. Nidoran and Teddy Ursa party too hard. They're hanging out under the bed. Teddy Ursa is just zonked. Giraffe Rigs being a creeper with Bellsprout behind the bed. Pichu's letting them know that, hey, I see you. You're not going to creep on me. And I think don't think this is a Clefairy. I think this is actually a Clefairy doll. So, oh, and then the, the, <laughs> that's cool. The picture in the background is a Weeping Bell on the wall. So that's cool. Oh, that's, that's actually sick. So there's Weeping Bell, and then there's Victory Bell. And then I don't know why, but there's a Jump Bluff and a Hop Up on the wall, too. <sighs> And you open this one up. They did recreate these little sprites for something, I think, back in like 20, somewhere between 2014 and 2016. I can't remember what it was, but it's cool when they do reuse some of this vintage style. Um, not not too much going on in the in the front of this one or inside of this one. And then the back is just the same as the other one in gold. But Oh, man, dude, I'm going to lose my voice doing this one. We're on the home stretch, though, here. I probably end up probably end up talking about these for too long too, but all right. So these are like pamphlets. Like this is a big thing they would do. Like so, this is like, oh hey, like it's Pokemon Christmas 1998. Um, these are this is expensive as well. Like this is probably like 40, 50 bucks or something. Um, which that's not crazy money, but it's expensive when you're thinking about what it is. Like you probably could have got these by the stack for free back in 1998, but it's not 1998 anymore. So, but this is like a little Christmas brochure slash pamphlet and you would have had all the merch coming out in that season i mean dude look at this like oh like some of this stuff like this slow bro with a christmas tale instead of a, a shell that has a squirtle and a pika on it this boot like pikachu boots what like what was this like who has this who has this for me you got these figures here look like maybe like christmas ornaments you got these figures up top these stickers look super modern for this time frame because this is kind of the same style they use now still. But like, oh my God, dude, like, look at this. Like you got these like, look like maybe postcards. I have seen these bags for sale. Um, we have phone cards. So we talked about the phone cards already. They always did like Christmas special phone cards. We talked about the pins. I guess that's a 98 one. I guess that's one I'm going to have to acquire at some point. You got the old school sweater, dude. Like, I just can't even anymore. This is crazy. This looks like it might have been an A4 file. Like we talked about those as well. Um, this is like a cookie tin or something. This, I have no idea. It almost looks like the thing that they put chopsticks in, but I really highly doubt that's what it is. I don't know what that is. But wait, there's more. Like look at this like Christmas display they did. If that doesn't scream 90s, like I literally think of like Home Alone when I see that. <laughs> but what else do we got down here? We got this like memo pads that's what these are with like christmas cards and there we go we got some stamps christmas pika i think i have seen this christmas wreath for sale before we got plates i've seen a few of those for sale before like this was like a like this is like a weird thing like they're they're all about like decorative plates for a while um you got some advertisement for the tcg on the right movies anime series cards we've got vending we've got ana promos and then the other side the flip side looks like some game stuff we got the game boy got the printer pokemon yellow the camera we saw some of that stuff earlier oh my gosh okay we gotta flip this over 
Okay, so... Man, is that really how old that phone card was from earlier? That's funny. There it is. This says 98, but I don't feel like that's not a 98 post or uh, phone card. But I could be completely wrong. I mean, I guess it is. Like, yeah, this is the Osaka opening. I didn't think that was 98. But this is Pokemon Christmas 98. Like, yeah. Like, look, there it says it. Free paper. <laughs> we got, like, directions in the back with the little sprites. Here's the full picture of Pika. And then you have these Osaka goods. I'll have to pick more Osaka stuff up then because, again, I, I've seen this shirt for sale. I think I might have this phone card. And I've seen the mug for sale and the pin for sale, too. I've seen all this for sale, but I didn't know it was that old. I thought it was, like, 2002, 2003-ish. And, like, the Pokemon would lead you to believe, hey, like, yeah, this is definitely vintage. But just the, the style, like, this just looks like super new style vibe for, for being that old. But, oh, my gosh. All right, well, that's one pamphlet. They're struggling here. All right, this is number five. I don't know what this would have been. This is like Pokemon Center. Yeah, I'm an idiot, dude. Like, it literally says it. So it says news. These are like news things, again, with like update on stuff that for, that's for sale. But this is from, this looks like you got 99 stuff in it. But this is a postcard. This is from the movie. Oh, my gosh. You got all these little cam badges. That's what they call them, cam badges. Like little buttons. And I think I actually know what these are from. They have like this cool like. It's like literally when I say like it's like a, a three foot tall cylinder with like a sheet in it with all the buttons on it. That's literally what it is. And I could buy the Neo version right now. And I think I might just because the art style. But dude, look at these shirts. Look at these shirts. Look at these Surfing Pika shirts. I've never seen these before. Ugh. Dude, I need that. I need it. I need the blue one. Ugh, maybe someday. All right, let's look at the back. More than merch for sale. Got these crazy little things here. Little lanyards or whatever attachments. Pokemon the movie. Check out the, the sick trucker hat oh, could use that all right that's it for that one and then lastly for the pamphlets here and then we have one other small thing before we get out of here with these stockings but we have the 2000 christmas pamphlet so you're going to start seeing a little more modern here things are going to get a little more fun there's the postcard we just looked at which is cool which actually has like a set these are for sale as well these are also very expensive I don't know what that is, if that's the pin for this year, but I need that. Absolutely need it. I need the badges. Oh, no, here's the pin for that year. I have seen these these before. I don't know what this is, if this is a sticker or what, but I also need that. We got more plates. I mean, I could, I would I would take the plates. I've seen this cynical artwork before, too. That's a cool one. Oh, there you go. So these are from 2000. That's what the, that, there's, your, there's our Flareon. So these are all the ones that they had from that. This is the whole set, apparently. But I, I kind of wanted... The, the Pikachu one was for sale, but again, I didn't see see it on auction. I didn't realize these phone cards are so old either. I like, not the 2000 one, but this one. This one definitely has me a little confused. I'm learning things here, but I, I would have took that one. I need... We got Okay, we got pie plates. You know, you eat your pie, and then you're like, bam, like Pokemon artwork on the back. And these are, like I said, two postcards from earlier. So that's kind of cool that, that that's in here. I didn't really realize that they meshed together. But he probably knew that when he sold the stuff to me. <coughs> um, here's the opening of Pokemon Center Tokyo and Pokemon Center Osaka. And they do have, I've showed them, I think, before. I think my, my show-off video of my collection where they have a promo for each one of these places that are pretty rare. So it's kind of cool. Got these files down here. Here, there it is. So I think this is that that thing that I was talking to you about. It's like a big, like, long tarp thing you can hang and has slots for all the badges. But it comes in like this, like, octagonal shaped thing that, like, keeps them all in. I know it sounds, that's a terrible description. Maybe I'll buy the Neo one so you can see. But, I mean, just seeing this artwork style, I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. 
don't know what these, these are postcards or what, but that's cool. And then we go over here. Pokemon Center original goods. Don't know what those are. Need them. Don't know what those are. Need them. This looks like a postcard set too. I'll have to ask Visor about those. That's cool. I've never seen that before at all. Um, toothbrushes. That actually isn't an, 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 uh, like just an old school thing. My kid has, I bought them in bulks because he likes to chew on them. I bought him bulk uh, Pokemon toothbrushes. So this is not a, a new thing, but that's kind of cool. They have like little stands for them. Oh my gosh, dude. And this looks like kind of modern too, but it's not. Oh, search for Red Gyarados. That's what this is about. Oh my gosh. Okay. Man. Hour and 20 minutes. If you're here, you must not have any better to do today because I wouldn't be here yet. Last thing on the list. I didn't know these existed he told me about these and posted a picture and i was like dude i have to have this he has a bunch of them i don't know where he got them in bulk but you've seen meiji promos before apparently it was like a little christmas thing but you have little mini meiji christmas stockings with pichu and a christmas tree and he gave me one for each person in my family so i thought that was really cool um yeah I, so Thank you to Visor. I, I'm going to tell him about this. Maybe he'll watch it. Maybe he won't. I really don't. I mean, if he doesn't, I don't really care. I wouldn't why I can't. I wouldn't be here yet either. But um, yeah, this stuff's just super cool to me. Again, the new series is Merch Madness. This is number one. And I will continue to do this. They will not be this long in the future. I will make sure that I pick like a handful of items to do so that it ends up being like half hour. Because to be honest with you, like I'm getting sick of talking. Like, I'm getting sick of talking right now. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. And this has just been madness talking to myself for an hour and 20 minutes. Although I have had fun. I had a lot of fun. And hopefully you had some fun too. But um, yeah, this has been fun. Again, I would love feedback from you guys on this one if you're still here. If you want to see more of this stuff, let me know. If you want me to start getting more of this stuff to put in the store, let me know. If you hate this, let me know. Um, I, I really want any feedback and all feedback for this and just kind of figure out like what I want to do with this. But I'm, I'm excited for this series to do more of these in the future. And yeah, this is just, I love this stuff. <laughs> this is absolutely awesome. So finally, as always, like, subscribe, comment down below or don't. But either way, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Good night.